Good morning everybody and first of all thank you everybody who subscribed to our channel remember to tick the little bell button if you want to be notified of every video we upload you will notice that we premiere the fishing show so you get notice way in advance that you can schedule to watch it um, which is a nice feature YouTube launched and uh, what I appreciate about YouTube is they're always coming up with some nice new ideas to actually make it easier for the viewers to get the content which is great gents now obviously all your comments you make and the mails you send we really appreciate that and we try and work through them to to actually do some videos on what you're asking for that obviously that's great when you guys do that so thank you very much now for today i'm just going to spool a new reel again the ninja a uh, very nice little daiwa reel very affordable just under a thousand or on a thousand rand and comes in various sizes okay right through from i think a 2000 or a 2500 this is a 2500 so i think it's from a 2000 all the way up to a 5000 really nice general purpose reel for scratching um, and throwing small lures nice little spinning reel dean loves these i know dean uh, really has been using it for a long time and from there i got myself one as well i had to for the light tackle now this i'm going to match up I'm going this morning we're going bronze dream fishing the whole bunch of us so i wanted to actually i've got enough rods to be honest but i don't have a light rod to really take it to the next level so yeah the XLA bass rod look how nice this is guys it's the 702 medium fast spin spinning and matched up with the 2000 such a lovely balanced outfit I've had sleepless nights about this since it's been here and then obviously we just need to cut these off and get a little side cutter quickly oh thank you handy cameraman um, I just sprayed the side cutter this is my old faithful I think I've had it for 15 years and it just gets Q20 off to every trip and it works again the rod also on a thousand so basically for 2000 rand plus your braid you've got a very very nice setup for general light spinning small spoons small lures um estuarine fishing fishing for bronze bream stone bream all those would be great fun why i really like this rod and why i picked this rod it's it's got a fantastic backbone for such a small thin light rod you can really bully a fish if you have to away from a rock or something so yeah i can't wait to catch something on it let's just spool it up that's what i'm going to run you guys through today the main purpose is spooling up uh with braid now this is something i prefer okay a lot of people everyone's got their own way of doing things uh my way well what i prefer is using a bit of monofilament in this case uh, fluorocarbon that i just make a granny knot to form a loop pull that tight okay clip off the tag end and then based on how your reel turns okay you don't want the loop to slip it's clockwise from your perspective so I'm gonna show you guys don't have enough hands to do it like that to show you as well okay so by turning it for instance clockwise it will turn tight you can see that it's going to turn tight onto your spool but that's not all i do i make that little loop so it's a slip knot basically what you've got now i'll put it around and then use my hand to add another two to three loops around where the main line goes out of the loop like that now that pulls tight you can see that and literally what I want is about 10 meters I don't want a lot I'm gonna put a quick 10 meters on there so it's not line I'm gonna use this is for the braid not to ever slip should I hook by accident this is not what the outfits for but you hook a 20 30 kilo fish fishing for for smaller fish and uh, you know your braid won't slip especially on the bigger reels you're gonna target big fish um, I would strongly recommend you put a bit of monofilament in the bottom. They do have the rubbers, guys. All the new Daiwa reels have got the little non-slip rubber on your bigger reels. 
the Saltus, the BEG, Dogfight, all of them, Saltigas. And that helps for the braid not to slip. But it's a small little rubber if you look at it. And uh, it probably won't slip on most fish. But then comes the sardine run or you transkai or you hook a really, really big non-edible and it slips. Um, I don't want to damage the box, but we're going to have to. There we go. And then 8 pound, the 8 weave, 8 pound uh, jaybraid. It's become a very, very big favorite under a lot of anglers. Just how smooth it is and what you pay for it. Very well priced. Very strong. The abrasion on this is fantastic. That's really where it got my respect. Now, being on your own, this is, guys, this is what I do. I put a rubber, rubber grommet on, uh, on one of my uh, shocker hammers. Put another one there. Get it nice and tight. And then on this, there's many different knots you can use. You can just do a loop to loop with two bimini twists, which is not a bad idea. But I've got a MP I use with a double strand MPL bright. Is available on our channel if you want to. I'll try and remember to put a link in the bottom for you guys. And on the thinner braids, this seem to work very well, the knot. In any case, if it hits me down to the bottom there, if it takes you all the way down, your chance of, of getting that fish might be small. Very neat little nut. Very strong little nut. All the tag ends. Let's clip those off. And then we spool it. Simple, guys. That's basically what I wanted to share with you guys. It's just uh, how I prefer putting the mono, in this case for a carbon first, and then you spool it. Now, you can use the diameter of, that's nice and tight as well. So it puts it on nice and tight for such a small reel. I'm using eight pounds, there's 300 meters on there. There's no way that I won't have enough braid for this. always you can check your oscillation your reels should come with a little washer if you see it's not going all the way down you add a washer so it goes a bit further down I wanted to show you guys not that it's needed well in all your higher models you definitely get the extra washer so when you're spooling a reel and you see your oscillation is not 100% there's more bunches up there or bunches up up top then you start removing or adding washes under the spool just to change the height. In most cases, it's not needed. guys almost 300 meters on there I think if I uh, continued another thing you guys must remember is when putting on a line very tight braid especially you can change the oscillation of a small reel okay that it could be because you're putting it on very tight that it leans more to one side other times if you just release it a bit don't put it on as tight the oscillation is a lot better I just prefer having braid on tight and then when I cast it out we'll cast that out and uh, okay, for one, this is not the leader I want to use. Have I packed all my stuff away? Yeah, well, it's gonna be for one. I already packed my bag for, for the beach, uh, it's already gone that way. 
Karina walked away with it. So I'm just gonna do the same knot for there. In fact, guys, use a very tiny little swivel that can go through the eyes of your rod. You do a, a polymer. Okay, polymer. Once again on our on the channel if you look for polymer knot. You just tie that on. Now the reason you do that if if you lose your leader you don't lose some of the braid so your reel always stays full. So a lot of times each time you lose your leader if it's a leader knot you'll lose another piece like this another piece like this so you really have to break off a lot to to make it noticeable this is just a different way so you put a little swivel there and a polymer using braid it's the only knot to use that will never slip you can trust it because with these light light outfits you're not going to reel this into your eyes your leader will only be Yay lock. Okay, I'm not going to make it much longer than that. And there you have it. All rigged up. This you can reel nicely onto the reel as well. Swivel sits on the reel. Use the line guide to uh, clip it. That line clip. And there we go. Done. Alright guys, well that sums it up. Just quickly spooling up a nice light little 7 foot outfit for fishing bronze bream and watch out we're going there now. We're going to go look for them. It's uh, They've just moved in this time of the year and if there's maybe if they're not around look for stone bream and I'm taking my 11 foot 6 uh, power spin a double power spin with a 4000 and that's just throwing some plugs because the Garrick also started moving in. So yeah, I just need to tie that one up. And what I prefer is, I'm going to use my pink velcro straps for this rod today. It's first day out. A lot of people will ask, why don't you remove uh, the plastic? See a lot of guys not removing the plastic initially. Um, I don't know. Kind of looks lucky with the, with the logo and the plastic makes it all look nice. But uh, maybe it's a good idea removing it. Because new, new rods don't always catch fish. We'll find out today. They don't always catch fish on their first trip. <coughs> okay, all rigged up. That's how I'm going to take the rod to it. On this side, I've got an Eclipse. A Kingfisher rod. Caroline's going to use this. Also 7 foot. It's the S3 spin. Rigged up with a BG3000. And I think that's got 15 pound J braid on. So, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe and push the little bell button to get notifications.